24 hours after the bloody clash between members of the East End Security Network, men of the Nigerian army and the police, the people of Olu are still living in fear and tension. The ugly incident has left the major streets and markets deserted as business owners felt uh, left rather their shops locked. Reports say the crisis has led to some unconfirmed casualties while crippling economic activities. Meanwhile, Oluzuru May Union, a social cultural group, has condemned the act while calling on Governor Hope Uzadima to provide leadership and withdraw military personnel from the area to reduce tension. Well, yesterday morning, we saw everybody running, Hector Sketa, you know, people running up and down. So I don't know exactly what was happening. People, people are very, very scared. A lot of people are inside their homes. So they can, you know, can see the streets are empty, the roads are very, very empty. There is no vehicular movement. So, so you can see, so everybody are very, very scared. We saw chains, chains of jeeps, military jeeps. I believe from uh, a worry to calm the situation. But you know, military men coming the situation, making it worse altogether because they too, they are, not, uh, they are not happy at all because we have heard that one or two of their men were shot dead at the event. So it wasn't easy in all. We expected the law enforcement agencies, with the aid of their intelligent network, to unveil the perpetrators of such heinous act against humanity. Let us, in the interest of peace and mutual coexistence, eschew sentiments, bias, and negative primordial interests, come, to to come together to resolve the issues, stop the killing, and ensure that peace and normalcy prevail. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.